Seasoning your purchase, demystifying seasoned money in real estate. In the exciting, often complex world of real estate, terminology can be as diverse as the properties themselves. One term that might leave you scratching your head is seasoned money. Seasoned money. What exactly does it mean and why does it matter for your potential home purchase? The essence of seasoning. When discussing seasoned money in real estate, the focus is on the timeline associated with your funds. Specifically, it refers to the length of time money has been readily available in your bank account, typically before applying for a mortgage or using it for a down payment. Lenders consider money seasoned after it has been present for a specific period, usually 60 to 90 days. Why does seasoning matter? From a lender's perspective, seasoning serves two main purposes. One, verification of source. Receiving a large sum of money shortly before seeking a loan can raise red flags. Seasoning establishes a paper trail, proving you had legitimate access to the funds for a sustained period. This mitigates the risk of fraud or the use of illegitimate sources for your down payment. Two, establishing financial stability. Seasoning demonstrates your ability to manage your finances responsibly. By showing you've held onto the money for some time, you reassure lenders of your financial discipline and preparedness for a long-term mortgage commitment. Where does seasoning apply? Seasoning primarily applies to down payment funds. This is the most common scenario. Lenders want to ensure your down payment isn't a temporary influx and will remain accessible throughout the loan term. Closing costs. Similar to the down payment, lenders prefer stability and want to avoid unexpected financial hurdles during the closing process. Mortgage refinancing. When refinancing, seasoned funds can sometimes help qualify for better loan terms if you're using some of your home equity as part of the refinance. Exceptions and alternatives. There are situations where seasoning requirements might be less strict or non-existent. Gifted funds. If a close family member gifts you money for a down payment, proof of the gift and the giver's financial stability can sometimes suffice. Retirement funds. Depending on the loan program and specific circumstances, funds within your retirement accounts might be considered acceptable, despite not technically being in a bank account. Seller concessions. If the seller agrees to contribute towards your closing costs, this can reduce the amount of seasoned funds you need. Navigating seasoning requirements. Here are some tips to ensure smooth sailing with seasoning requirements. Plan ahead. Start saving early and track your progress to ensure your funds have ample seasoning time. Consult your lender. Different lenders might have varying seasoning requirements, so discuss your specific situation with them early on. Document your sources. Maintain clear records of how you acquired your funds, especially for gifted money or large transfers. Consider alternatives. Explore options like gift funds or seller concessions if strict seasoning requirements pose a challenge. The bottom line, Seasoning money might seem like a hurdle, but understanding its purpose and navigating the requirements strategically can ensure a smoother real estate journey. By planning ahead and working with your lender, you can ensure your seasoned purchase becomes a sweet taste of success.